Hey, my friends, look at here. It is simple. It is easy for me to stand before you and talk to you about the things that I talk to you about. I know you want peace and prosperity and joy in your life. I know you want your dreams to come true. I know you want to experience freedom. I know you just want to live. You want to make sure that all of those things that are essential for your survival are guaranteed that you'll never have to worry about any of them. And that you have the opportunity to exercise your gift in whatever capacity that it is. And that it will produce some type of service to humanity that gives you some purpose in your life. I know you want that. I know every last one of you want that. And I know you're trusting in a system that has failed to produce that. I know you're reaching out trying to find some way to see if you can still get to that. You have tried everything except a poor black man. You have never tried that. And you're afraid to. You've been trained to have no thought of ever having a black man from the poor side of town telling you anything. And ladies and gentlemen, I tell you, if I was speaking for myself, nothing that I would say would be any more valuable than that which has been said by thousands of others. But what I say to you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm convinced it is not me. I'm convinced that it is a power that is above me. And the reason that I'm convinced of that is because this power cares about you. Every last one of you. Every man, every woman, every old person, every child. It doesn't matter of anything beyond that. That power cares about you. So much so that it has prepared that you can live right here on this ball in the United States of America, in Russia, in Egypt, in Africa, in, in China, anywhere, anywhere on the globe, seven continents, wherever people live, you can live as though you're in heaven. What do you do to do this? You respect one another because the same power that made you, that cares about you and is prepared for you, has done the same for all of the other yous. So you respect that. That's your respect for God. And you know what you need. And you know all of you need it. So you're doing your bit. And they doing their bit. And all of the bits are done. And all of the creation is taking place for all of the things that will be essential in your heaven. God is so beautiful. And right now, we know that Republicans and Democrats can't do that. They can't even think like that. The system of capitalism will not allow it, will not permit it. And all of the politicians that's trying to get before you saying they can help you cannot get outside of that parameter. And you try Donald Trump, and you see Donald Trump is not thinking about you. And here again, I'm telling you, I'm not thinking about you. It is the love of God that's in me that speaks to you that's thinking about you. And what I'm trying to say to you, ladies and gentlemen, here's where you are con proof. This is con proof. Because you play, every last one of you play a role in it. And your role is so simple, you don't even know that you're playing it unless something gets out of line. Then it is your duty, it is your responsibility to bring it to the attention so we can fix it. So, this is what is being proposed to you by a black man who ain't got no money and is about to get kicked in the streets. So you know I'm serious. <laughs> I'm dead serious. So, take this once again, I don't know if I said it on this video or not, I do not have any money. And those of you who can recognize and hear what I'm saying right now, you don't have any money. But you can use your voice and say that the God of love is coming to deliver you 
from the pains and sufferings of the systems of the world. Tell everybody, everybody, just tell them. That's, that, that's, not, that's not asking too much of you. The God of love is coming to deliver you from all of this that the world has done to you. And shout it out, shout it out. Let's give God some glory. Because it's time for us to try something that we have never tried before. Let us try the maker. Let us try God. Now, which one of you Democrats or Republicans or Trump want to debate me on that? Which one of you want to debate me on peace and prosperity for every citizen? Which one of you want to debate me on that? Hey. <laughs> now, I want to know how long is it going to take the media to pick this up? And let the nation know that this guy is out here ready to challenge it all. What I mean by challenge is to offer you what you've been praying for. How long is it going to take, my nigga? Every time somebody jumps in and throws their little hat in, I see them getting picked up on some news media source and being publicized. But what is it going to take for me to speak to you on those media outlets? So that you know that God is reaching for you. God is trying to save you from this crap. <laughs> and you can have a place of your own that can't nobody ever put you out. You can do that what you want to do. You can sing. You can dance if you want and nobody can get mad. You can smoke cigarettes and have a drink wine and nobody can throw you out. <laughs> You, they call it home, and it's free because God made it that way. 